Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily calculate the vegetation density using Google Earth Engine. So there's a lot of way to calculate vegetation density. So mainly today I will show you that how we can easily calculate the NDVI, mainly normalized difference vegetation index it is widely used to indicator for quantifying vegetation density and health so i will show you all a process step by step how we can easily calculate the ndvi and from this ndvi how we can easily calculate the vegetation density as well as how we can easily calculate the area so let's go i will explain all of things step by step so I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do calculate for vegetation density analysis for any region. So let me open my code editor. So here you can see I already uh, complete this code and I already make this type of things. So basically I just try to calculate the vegetation density. So basically this type of region identify about that low density of vegetation. And this type of yellow color identify about the medium density of vegetation. And this type of green color identify about that high density of vegetation. Okay, for the specific time period for my study area. As well as we are also calculating this type of, uh, you can see about the pie chart. So from this pie chart, we can easily identify about that all of area. So here you can see about the vegetation density area square kilometer. We can find out that high density of vegetation. We find out that 22.6%. We can find out the low density of vegetation, 16.8%. And find out the medium, it's about the 60.6%. This is our calculation part. So in this time, I just try to make the pie chart on Google Earth Engine. And then I can easily get this type of result. So now I will explain this code uh, how we can use and what the process I want to use in here. So, first of all, I just simply use here that Sentinel 2 surface reflectance satellite imagery. And I already imported my study area in here. And then I simply put my specific time period. So, in this time, I choose for year of 2023. I want to identify what is the vegetation density. So for the simply put this time period, I consider all of cloud pixel percentage less than 20. And then further, I just create a function to make NDVI. So you all know about the NDVI formula is that near infrared minus red. So just I simply use it normalized difference function. And further, I try to calculate the NDVI. So after creating the NDVI, we had just tried to put here the thresholding value. So basically, it's very important to identify about that low medium and high vegetation density so in this time i just simply put at the low threshold value 0.2 and high threshold value 0.4 but there i just use the expression function in this expression i try to consider this my equation so just i try to find out that ndvi less than equal low it's one class ndvi less than equal high it's another class as well as i also mentioned about that what is the low what is the high so I already defined low is mainly low threshold value and high is high threshold value and low is already stored at my low threshold value and high threshold value is already stored at my high threshold value. So after part that we just try to show the class. So in this time I will show this type of uh, classes. We can get this type of class here you can see. So nearly three class I just classified vegetation density low, medium and high. And further, I also try to calculate about that how much area. I just try to find out this type of pie chart and then calculate the area for each classes. So basically, it's one kind of way to identify about the vegetation density, how we can easily calculate and also get this uh, type of calculation. Okay. And further, we are also make different uh, change detection for different decade. We also do it. So these type of things you can easily learn further if you want you join my online training program then you can easily learn all of things and now currently if you want to join my running online training program then you can simply 
check all of details from my website. So I already uh, stored this website link in the video description. You can simply check it. And further, you can get a lot of information about our upcoming online training program. So basically, this class will be start from that 19 July and admission last week, the 18 July. But first 10 register will get the 50% discount on this online training program. So basically, it's total seven days online training program, mainly Friday and Saturday in a week. We take the class and each day class duration is that four hours. So three hours, mainly our live training, one hour for your problem solving class. And basically, we take the class on the Google Meet uh, class in uh, language, mainly English. We take the class. And if you are interested to join, and take the 50% discount on this online training program as soon as possible. Simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as contact also this uh, WhatsApp number and also contact with this email. Then you can easily get all of information and then book your seat. So basically, here you find out all of course content, so mainly all of course syllabus or course module you can get for every single day what you learn, all of things you can get from here. As well as when you want to join this online training program, you can get some benefit, such as uh, you can get the course e certificate after submitting all of assignment. You can get that all of course material, mainly slide, PDF, as well as you can also get all of practice code. Okay, and you also get about the recorded class. If you miss any live training program, then you can easily cover by getting the recorded video class and lifetime teaching support. You also get about that because. We are also providing if you join only for the one time in our online training program, but you can get the lifetime free teaching support. So as a beginner, so when you face uh, start the learning, the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problems. So that's why you need the continuous support. And for getting this support, we are also providing the lifetime teaching support freely. So if you want to join for one time and further you face any problem regarding any issue for this training, then you can easily get the lifetime teaching support for any time for your any problem you can get the solution so this is the best and unique way of our online training program so you also get this when you want to join our live training program so don't waste your time just simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as also contact with this email i already added all of those things in the video description simply check it and then contact and then book your seat thank you for asking that stay happy stay safe